Welcome back guys to Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations where we have ourselves a little bit of an issue with a statement of this so-called witness that can't show up on the stand. However, we have brought her forth with the contradictions we found thus far as Edgeworth calls her up. Witness, what is your name and occupation? We find out it's Dahlia. Everyone is so silent that I can hear their hearts going pitter patter. Hmm. Oh. When I look at you, how can I put it? You look as scrumptious as a double double and a dozen donut holes. I feel like I want to hurry up and hand down a verdict just to have a bite. Hey, hey, not so fast. What's a double double? <sighs> as I said before, this witness is very sensitive and delicate. I would ask the court to please exercise care when addressing her. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. You are a true gentleman. Miss Fay, you could learn a lot from this man. If he's such a gentleman, he sure does not like one of me. Um, sir? Hmm? Uh, yes, my dear? This is my first time, so I'm sure I make a lot of mistakes. Anyway, I just wanted to say I'm sorry for all the trouble I might cause. Hmm, not at all. It's no trouble at all. Now then, may we please have your name and occupation? My name is, um, Melissa Foster. Well, that's a lie. Unless you got a body double somewhere. With body double butterflies. I'm a college student. A, a freshman in the literature department. You were on the scene when the unfortunate event occurred, correct? And you were the one who took this photo. Is that accurate? Wah! How can you be so mean? Now see here, what are you doing shoving that in her face like that? Huh? B but it's just a photograph, it's not like it's something dangerous. Next time I'll be forced to penalize you, what? Uh oh, I don't like the turn this has taken. Is she staring at me? Um, and you would be? Huh? Uh, I'm the defense attorney. My name is Mia Fey. I see. So you are... Now then, young lady, could you please give us your testimony? Yes, Your Honor. I I I'll do my best. Sweetness and light. We know she ain't. I, I was using my camera to take some pictures of wild flowers. Then, I noticed there were two people standing up on the suspension bridge. Suddenly, they just started fighting. That's when I hurried and took the photo that shows the crucial moment. Well, that's a lie. And right after that, I called the police. It's all semantics, but that's a lie. Hmm. By the way, where were you standing when the incident occurred? I believe the map would be of help here. Um, I was standing right over here. I was standing in a beautiful field surrounded by tall cliffs. So you took the photo from that location, ah? I bought the camera I was using at the time, just like Mr. Edgeworth asked me to. Ho ho ho! What a cute camera! Just like his owner. Camera's added to the quarter record, but I know what I'm going to pick out already at this point in time. Alright then, Miss Faye. Time for your cross-examination. But I warn you, make the witness cry again, and you'll feel the wrath of my gavel. You know the whole point of this can make someone cry, right? I'm trying to, like, point out they're lying. People generally don't take too kindly to that. So why was I having an issue with that statement? Well, we're just going to skip forward, to be honest. Hopefully... Actually, maybe it might be worth pressing stuff for other stuff, but... It's because suddenly they just started fighting. And that's when I hurried and took the photo that shows the crucial moment. The problem with that... Is this is not the crucial moment. This is people standing still. The crucial moment is when someone gets stabbed in the back. So it's semantics, kinda, but it's a lie. Let's check the camera in the meantime. Melissa Foster took the witness's photo with this, a small, powerful model. Camera on a tripod. I've got a tiny one for my webcam, it's stupid. Stupidly tiny. Right, let's press first of all and make her cry, shall we? Just in case there's anything else to garner from this. Did you say wildflowers? Yes. 
mountain is famous for its beautiful spring wildflowers. Um, but it's only February. Well, I... I couldn't wait for spring to come. Ho ho, I know just how you feel. It's just like when I first started growing this glorious beard of mine. I just couldn't wait, so I wore a dyed blonde Santa beard until mine grew properly. Would you mind if we got back to the facts of the case, Your Honor? Well, I noticed there were two people standing up on the suspension bridge. Hold it! Was there anything strange about the two of them? Or well, one's in a prison uniform. I, I, I'm a bad girl. I, I know I am. It looked like they were having a really serious conversation up there. So I decided to watch them. Like some kind of peeping Tom. No, not at all. Everyone is like that. I love watching other people fight too. In fact, I can't get enough of it. Actually, that's why I took this job in the first place. Too much info, Your Honor. In any case, it's perfectly natural for you to have to keep... Or to have kept watching them. I mean, if it's a broken bridge, then it's kind of like a really odd scene. And he's in a prison costume, etc, etc. Did he still have the ball and chain on him? I don't know. I think he's holding it, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Especially dressed as they were. Thank you, Edra, for having the common sense that everyone else doesn't. Well, anyway, I was watching them very closely. Suddenly, they just started fighting! Hold it! Do you have any idea what they were fighting about? Eh? No, I have no idea. Why do you ask that? Oh, I just thought that maybe you overheard what they said. Oh. Uh oh. I would never, I would never eavesdrop. I've got more class than that. That's right, Miss Faye. Don't drag the witness down to your level. Ah. Indeed. That's when I hurried and took the photo that shows a crucial moment, but it's not. Can I press this for another statement, or is it presenting here? Why did you take the photo? Well, the two of them were really going at it. Ever since I was a little girl, I always wanted to be a news reporter. I guess that part of me just kind of took over. Smells like a lie to me. Yes, I understand completely. Even now, I can't completely abandon my boyhood dreams. I still use my grandson to test my comedy routines on. So you wanted to be a comedian, huh? Not that it has any bearing on this. All I could do was use my camera. So I took the photo of the crucial moment and gave it to the police. That's not the crucial moment, though. And right after that you called the police? Well, that's a useless statement. We know what we're doing. It's this. It's literally this. This is not the crucial moment. Objection! Witness. When you said you took a photo of the crucial moment, is this what you meant? Uh... All I can see in this photo are two people facing each other. You testify that you saw the two of them starting to fight. Normally, that's the kind of thing we would refer to as a crucial moment. Why haven't you presented a photo like that? Well, well, you see... The photo we presented was the only one there was. But if you really wanted to capture the crucial moment, then what happened next? You must have taken a photo of it. Hmm. Hmm. No! No? Okay. Uh, um, my apologies, young lady. But Mrs. Faye's assertion is not without a certain amount of merit. He can certainly downplay a situation, can't he? I, I'm sorry. I'm a very bad girl. I know. I, um, I used it all up. Film, I mean. You ran out of film? Uh, this photo was the last one. What? Indeed, what? Unfortunately, that is the truth. I personally examined all of the photographs she took that day. All the other photos are of the witness herself playing along among the wildflowers. The witness herself? And who took the photos? Well, you see, my camera has a timer feature built into it and a tripod too to stand it up. So, you took photos of yourself? Hmm, I remember taking some photos of myself once too! Please, no details. No, please, no. It seems that Miss Faye's assertion was not so decisive after all. What? Wait, wait just a minute! Well, if she has no film left, she couldn't very well take more pictures, eh? Miss Foster, perhaps then you could tell us about a different sort of photo. Photos of the incident that you took with your very own eyes. Mr. Edgeworth, you're quite the poet. Very well then, let's get back to the cross-examination. Let's hear your thoughts on the fight that you witnessed. 
Yes, Mr. Judge. Boy, this guy is really a suck of sweet talk. Ha. It looks like the other kitten in the room is the one that's getting all the attention. Yeah, it's sickening. I was using my camera to take some pictures of wildflowers. We got straight to a testimony, or is that an extra statement? Okay. Oh, wait. This is, like, partially the same testimony, but changed slightly? That's weird. Right. I, I was using my camera to take some pictures of wildflowers. Then I noticed there were two people standing up on the suspension bridge. So these bits are the same, apart from the wildflowers. Suddenly, they just started fighting. The victim turned around and tried to run away, but she only got about ten yards before she was stabbed in the back. Well, I don't need to press these. Like, I pressed the other one just in case there was evidence. Because we've already brought this fact up. This bridge that's out. She wouldn't make it ten yards without plummeting into the Eagle River there. Why would you run that way? It's stupid. Witness, your testimony is a joke. Huh? W what? B -b but I, I, I just... Miss Faye, I thought I warned you not to make the witness cry. One short testimony and two bad contradictions. There's no possible excuse. You say there were two contradictions? It's simple. It's just take a look at the diagram of the area. According to a testimony, the two of them were in the middle of the bridge. But if they were, and the victim had turned around and tried to run, well then... She, she would have hit a dead end! Yeah. You said ten yards, but she couldn't even run five! Because Dusky Bridge has collapsed on that side! Wah! What does all this mean? It's very simple, Your Honor. This charming little witness told a charming little lie. That's all there is to it. <laughs> this, this beautiful young lady has been lying to the court. Objection! Just a moment, Your Honor. M Mr. Edgeworth. Your Honor, allow me to personally apologize for the confusion. What do you mean? There's one major mistake in this diagram. What did you say? What are you referring to? It's all because this diagram was made after the incident occurred. It's a very old bridge. We couldn't find any official blueprints of it. S so you're saying? I'm saying that even though this bridge is currently in disrepair, there's no evidence that can prove that the bridge was broken during the incident. Th that's ridiculous. You can't actually tell the condition of the bridge from this photo. I apologize to the court for not being more clear when I presented the evidence. Hmm. Hmm. Really? Ha. Huh. That guy's good. Huh? What do you mean? He planned it from the beginning. He's a genius, all right. That diagram of the bridge was his insurance policy. What? That coward! Well, Miss Fay, it seems you once again made a reckless accusation. I, I'm so sorry. I should have been more careful myself. No, 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 no. It wasn't your fault at all. Now then, uh, shall we get on with the trial? I'd like to establish once and for all what it was that the witness actually saw. Indeed. All right, young lady. May I ask you to please proceed with your testimony? But I... It's so hard to go on. We're all on your side, Miss Foster. There's no need to worry. Just tell us what you saw. Yes, sir. Right, running from the crime. Well, at least we're getting more statements and we're not being completely shut down as of yet. After he stabbed her in the back, he quickly picked her up in his arms. Then he carried her over to the car. I suppose that was the only way he could make sure the body stayed hidden. He couldn't just leave the body on top of the bridge. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm only supposed to talk about what I saw. Well, that's a weird statement. Hmm. Witnessing such violence must have been difficult. Yes, sir. I, I'm still shaken up. If he accepts this testimony as it is, we're finished. D don't say that. Oh, well. 
Maybe I'll stop off at my favorite cafe on the way home. They make a really great mocha latte. This trial isn't over yet. Ha, <laughs> that's what I like to hear. All right, Miss Faye, your cross-examination if you please. The contradiction is staring you right in the face, Mia. Go on the attack. I'm running from the crime. Well, let's start pressing and see what else, if anything, it reveals. I at least have one target statement in mind. He quickly picked her up in his arms as soon as he stabbed her. Hold it! Are you saying that the victim didn't fall down on the bridge? Uh, um, actually, maybe she did fall. Of course she didn't fall down on the bridge. If she had fallen down, this photo wouldn't make any sense. If that was the case, her coat would have been all muddy. Objection! If you don't mind, I was asking the witness. <sighs> no need to be so rude. Well, young lady. Of course she didn't fall down. The man in the prison uniform grabbed her before she could. She, really? That was fast, I guess. Stabbed her in the back and held on from the front, I take it, then, is what you're saying? He must be covered in blood. Ha. <laughs> One step too slow. And then what did the defendant do after that? Then he carried her over to the car. Hold it! I'm pressing press. Press press. You personally witnessed that? Y yes. Did anything strange happen when he did that? Well, I don't know if you'd call it strange or not, but that's when the victim's scarf fell off. Hmm. You mean this scarf? The words match what we found in the scene. I don't see any problem. I suppose that was the only way he could make sure the body stayed hidden. Really? Hold it! You mean the defendant carried the body all by himself? Y yes. Considering the size of the defendant, I don't think it would be difficult. Yes, but let's remember they were on a narrow bridge that was ready to collapse. Is it even possible for him to have carried a dead body on a bridge like that? Objection! Or was already supporting two weights. Well, the fact of the matter is that he did. That kind of talk is just silly. Wow, why did he get so emotional all of a sudden? Miss Fay, if you still think there's some other possibility, please share it with the rest of us. He couldn't just leave the body on top of the bridge. Are you sure? Why do you say that? It's already a broken down bridge hidden away in the mountains. Doing anything more to hide the corpse would be going overboard, wouldn't it? Yes, but that mountain is famous among hikers. A surprising number of people go up there. But it's February, right? And it was raining that day, correct? There is also a small temple and a channeling dojo there. You know those monks, they just love cold, isolated places. I think the witness is trying to say that the corpse could have been found at any time. Besides, the witness is merely reporting what she witnessed with her own eyes. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm only supposed to talk about what I saw. It's one of these two. You couldn't just leave the body on top of the bridge. The question is, what would you do if you were a murderer and you were on that bridge? Only way you can make sure the body stay hidden. No, there was one so much easier way. If you were murdering someone on a bridge located 40 foot above a river flowing beneath, isn't one of the easiest ways to just toss it in? I mean, you don't have to kind of, I know it sounds rude to say, just kick her a bit? She'd go over, probably? I think it's probably that. This map is really our key. Objection! That's what I'd do. Not saying I want to go, you know, knock someone off on top of a bridge, but if I, you know, if you did, easiest than car and phys more physical evidence. A killer not wanting his victim to be found. I can understand that. However, the idea of moving the body for that purpose is clearly odd. There was a much easier way to make sure the body wasn't found. Indeed, there was. Well, what is it? Take another look at the map of the area and you'll see how. Exactly how? The most easiest way ever! There's a river right below the bridge. Earlier, Mr. Edgeworth pointed out something interesting about the river. For those who are not aware, Eagle River is well known for its powerful current. Didn't remember that. Most bodies that fall in are never recovered, making it the perfect murder spot in some ways. Ah! 
In the kidnapping case five years ago, the victim's body was carried away and never found. If ten murders were to occur at the same spot above the Eagle River, you can bet your boots that every other killer would have tossed the body in the water! You are exactly correct. Order, order, order! Well, as we call for order, we continue onwards, because I think we've got uh, Miss Foster, yeah, right, on the ropes now. Your lies are coming clear. More to the point, it's just the common sense of murdering someone up on a bridge across a really heavily flowing river. I guess you could say that's really unraveling things. Join me next time for more trials and tribulations as we continue on with this crazy case. Bye bye. <laughs>